of the Rocky Chamber here at Kent's Cavern. My name is Cara and I'm part of the Educations team here. We're currently in the most decorative part of the cave system and as you can see we've got loads of beautiful formations around us. So I'd like to take a couple of moments to talk to you about how these are formed. Now it's all caused by the rainwater and as you can hear there's a lot of rain coming in through the walls of our cave. Now it starts off above us. So we have lots of rain and it passes through all the rotting vegetation and soil and as it does that it picks up minerals and carbon dioxide. Now the cave itself is made from limestone, so it's what we call a permeable rock. It allows the water to pass through it. So as that water passes through the rock, it hangs onto the ceiling and as that droplet drips off the end, a chemical reaction takes place and we are left with a ring deposit of calcium carbonate, also known as calcite. Now with every single droplet, a ring is placed and they start to stack on top of each other and they grow into a straw, just like a drinking straw, it's long, thin and hollow. But at a certain point, it will clog up at the base. And because the water can't go through the, the middle of it anymore, it starts to go down the outside and deposits it all the way to the tip. And this is what caused our stalactites. Now underneath it, we have a similar reaction take place. Those water droplets drip onto the floor and we start to get a little bundle of calcite. And they grow up with every single deposit to make our stalagmites. Now stalagmites come in all different shapes and sizes and it all depends on the type of water supplying it. So if we have a fast drip, what we tend to see is a nice between candlestick shaped stalagmite. And if we have a slow drip, we tend to have a thick beehive one. But the water can chip and change during its course, so we can end up with a nice beehive shaped stalagmite with a candlestick on top of it. Now eventually a stalagmite will join with a stalactite and that causes a column. The water travels down the outside of it and it starts to build it up and makes it thicker, hence that column shape. Now, the water sometimes runs along the ceiling, and if it continues this course over and over again, we'll start to see a curtain formation, which looks a little bit like a sheet of calcite. It makes loads of beautiful things here in the cave, but it doesn't always just fall from the ceiling to the floor. Sometimes it will dribble down the sides of the walls here in the cave, and when it places it on the rock on the walls, it creates flowstone, which looks a little bit like a frozen waterfall. Now we have lots of different colours that come through the rocks as well and these are different minerals that come through and it's picked up in the water when it goes through that rotten vegetation above us. So to summarise, we have loads of beautiful formations here in the cave. They're all caused by the rainwater and the calcite. They start to develop straws which then turn into our stalactites. We have stalagmites that grow up on the floor. They eventually meet and they'll make a column. We also have all those beautiful colours coming through on the walls of the cave, which are caused by all those minerals. But don't expect to see any change between your visits here at Kent's Cavern, because it can take up to a thousand years to even see one or two centimetres growth. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.